Today on Rappler, the Supreme Court nullifies the Smartmatic contract. Three Supreme Court justices inhibit in Makati Mayor Junjun Binai's case. And Freddie Roach pinpoints two factors that will be key to Pacquiao's victory. Hello, I'm Natasha Gutierrez. This is Rappler's Wrap for the Day, a list of the most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. The Supreme Court nullifies a contract between the Commission on Elections, or COMELEC, and Smartmatic Total Information Management on Tuesday. SE spokesperson Theodore Te says the COMELEC failed to justify the extended contract without public bidding. He adds the order is immediately executory. Election Watchdog Automated Election System Watch, or AES Watch, asked the SC last February to nullify the contract between Comelec and Smartmatic for having been adopted in grave abuse of discretion, amounting to lack or an excess of jurisdiction. AES Watch said Resolution 9922 approved a 300 million peso deal for the first stage of Smartmatic's extended warranty proposal, but the contract, which did not go through competitive bidding, was said to be tailor-fitted for Smartmatic. Meanwhile, the Comelec says it will look into other possible options to, av to avoid a no-election scenario in 2016, including a possible return to manual elections or the use of precinct count optical scan or PCOS machines in a modified central count optical scan or CCOS system. Comlex spokesperson James Jimenez says, quote, there would be many issues, operational legal issues as well, but in the end, that's better than having no elections. Supreme Court or SC Associate Justices Presbitero Velasco, Arturo Brion, and Francis Hardelesa inhibit from the controversial case of Makati Mayor Junjun Binay. SC spokesperson Theodore Te says the three justices did not provide the reasons for inhibition. Apart from the three, Associate Justice Diosdado Peralta already inhibited from the case and did not participate in the first round of oral arguments held last April 14. This leaves 11 justices voting on Binay's case. Binay argued the ombudsman issued his suspension with grave abuse of discretion. Ombudsman Conchita Carpio Morales petitioned to stop the Court of Appeals from implementing the temporary restraining order on Binay's suspension. Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno and Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio suggest revisiting the condonation doctrine acquitting re-electionists of misdeeds in a previous term, which Binay cites in criticizing the suspension order. The annual Balikatan exercises between the Philippines and United States began on Monday, where they simulate worst-case scenarios. In Zambales, the Americans demonstrate how they will come to the Philippines' rescue. One particular scenario involves the rescue of a captured Philippine island. Only a few hundred kilometers from the Balikatan exercises in Scarborough Shoal, Shoal, which China occupied after a tense standoff in 2012. In other parts of the South China Sea, China continues to reclaim reefs and turns them into artificial islands. Military Chief Gregorio Katapang says troops should take calculated risks in facing China. So if they reclaim the mischief reef, uh, we will be cut off. We have a series of islands going down south, going up north, and uh, it will challenge uh, the Ayungin Shoal that we are claiming and we are we have you know there have there are soldiers there and there, if this if this happens they are very near each other so i hope there will be no miscalculation or aggressiveness on both sides china criticizes southeast asian countries planning to bring up the south china sea dispute in an upcoming regional summit chinese foreign ministry spokesman hong lei says the dispute is quote not an issue between China and the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN. Hong adds China is against damaging the relationship with ASEAN by making use of the South China Sea issue. China's statement comes after the Philippines said it plans to raise the issue in the summit. Pacquiao trainer Freddie Roach says the Filipino boxing icon should rely on his strengths as a fighter if he wants to get the job done against Floyd Mayweather. Roach tells cable network HBO Manny's footwork and speed are two of his most important weapons in his career. Roach adds, quote, 
The key to winning the fight is to take Floyd out of his comfort zone. In the other camp, Mayweather tells ESPN, no one can ever brainwash me to make me believe that Sugar Ray Robinson and Muhammad Ali were better than me. Despite his belief, Mayweather says he respects both Ali and Robinson. For those on desktop, click on the links on your screen. You can also click on the tabs below to go to a story in the video. And for those on smartphones and tablets, the links can be found below the video. Rappler has a patented user engagement model that puts a mood meter on every story. Looking at the mood navigator, the story with the biggest circle is... Only 5 MRT trains running, long lines at stations. This has 53% of readers feeling inspired. Today, most people are inspired. That's the wrap for today, Tuesday, April 21, 2015. Visit Rappler.com for the latest news here and around the world. Check out our other shows, SciTech for You and Rappler Talk. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Natasha Gutierrez. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today.